Hi and welcome to another Node-RED video. In this video we're going to take a look at creating uh, drop-down boxes using the um, drop-down uh, dashboard node in Node-RED. And I'm going to look at three uh, ways of actually creating them. We're going to start off by looking at the easiest way and the most common way is using a, a manual drop-down. And if I look at the node, there's the, there's the node there. And all we do is we add our option into the options list you can see here. In this case I've got three. If I want to add a fourth, I just click on there and we add a value and a label. The value is what gets sent when you select it and the label is what appears on the screen. Uh, that's the label field there. Uh, there's a couple of options down here. Uh, allow multiple selections from the list and so this would actually send an array of values so you could s select sensor 1 and sensor 2 and it would send a, an array with sensor 1 and sensor 2 in it and another one here which is actually ticked by default if a message has arrived on the input pass it through to the output so if you've got an input to this node then it will actually trigger the, that option and I'll look at that probably when we do an, uh, another video on uh, linking um, drop-down boxes which I do in quite a few of my, my flows, uh, but not for this video. And at the bottom we have the topic which I, I've labelled sensor. So let's just activate this, um, select a sensor, sensor 3, and if I go and look at the debug node we can see here the payload is sensor 3 and the topic is, is sensor. Uh, pretty straightforward. Now the next option we have is a flexible drop-down and if we look at the actual node itself there's nothing in here and what we're going to do is we're going to send the option list uh, in this case we're going to use an inject node and if I look at the inject node you can see here there's the option list it's uh, configured as a JSON uh, object and I just got sensor 1 and sensor 2 in there uh, it's irrelevant what the payload is and it's irrelevant what the topic is. Uh, the field we need to send in there is options and if I look at the click on there and if I look at the information on that you can see here it tells you how to configure the options. Now I'm just sending in the um, the one option which is sensor 1, sensor 2. If you want to use the um, label value format then you have to create an, an array and it shows you how to do that here. So you can see here we've got a label and we've got a value. Okay so this is a bit more flexible than the static method which we have there and so let's just So it works. So just to show you the screen. There's nothing in the flexible drop down at the moment, and uh, if I inject there, we should now see the flexible drop down contains both of our sensors. And again, if I select one of them, you can see. This is what we get. Now the actual topic is actually configured on the actual node itself. You can see there. So we we can't actually pass the topic in uh, in the preceding node. We have to configure that on the node itself. Now the last method is the most flexible option. I've called it the auto option, and I use this uh, quite a lot. And you can create. Uh, the drop down basically dynamically on the fly from incoming data. Now what I'm going to use here is MQTT and I'm going to use MQTT uh, subscribe to a topic called test and I'm basically going to pass in the the name of the sensor on here so I'm going to use test sensor 1, test sensor 2, test sensor 3 to pass in the name of the sensor then I'm going to use this function to take the sensor name from the topic and then I'm going to create the drop down list from that um, sensor name. Okay so let's just see how it works 
and then I'll show you the function so at the moment we got nothing oh we got s1 in there something left in there so what I've got on all my flows and uh, is a clear button so we, let's clear it and so there's nothing in the list right so I'm going to use the mosquito publish tool to publish it and you can see I'm going to publish on test S1 and I'm going to publish a message. Now the message is actually irrelevant and then let's do it again we call it S2 and we'll do it a third time and we call it S3 very inventive the names so now we can just clear that we don't really need that at the moment and if we look at our drop down you can see I've got all three in the the drop down now how it works is quite straightforward we pull in the sensor within the topic we split the topic around the slash you can see the the topic format here, here is test slash sensor 3 and the sensor name is at position 1 because remember array start at uh, 0 so we pick out the sensor name at uh, position 1 we pick out the payload and what we do is we assign to a an object, a sensors object we assign the payload, now I didn't have to do this I could just assign a blank to it all I want to do is get a list of of sensors. Now we use this function here to get the keys because sensors is in a is an object and we need to actually create an array we need to create a list so the keys are the actual list so we, we take out the keys from the the sensors object let me just show you the sensors object there's the sensors object there you can see here so we just pull out the keys S1, S2, S3 and we put that into the options and then we store the sensors because we, we're going to keep adding to this so if we have another sensor, sensor 4 coming along that would actually automatically get added to the, to the list and we re simply return the message and the return the message populates the drop down list so let me just add sensor 4 And if I refresh this, you can see sensor 4 has been added to the list and it's been added to the drop down. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Um, if you liked it, then click on the like button. If you've got comments, then leave them below. If you want to get notified of new videos, then you can always subscribe to the channel. And until next time, goodbye.